All right, we're here with Ember Rogue, and we're going to be doing a exclusive interview about her many years as a prepper kid. Hi, Ember. I'll be the lead. <laughs> All right, I'm in Texas and I met up with Armed Rogue Morgan. I know all you people follow her, she's real popular. And um, <laughs> we're sitting here and I've got some really deep, very intelligent, insightful questions I'm going to ask her and she's going to tell us more about how her brain works. I'm ready. Okay. Hit me. <laughs> first, first of all, easy. Define yourself. Are you a prepper, survivalist? What are you? Um. I'm mainly a prepper, but I really, I'm really trying to get more into survival and bushcrafting and stuff like that. Like I, I really think all those skills are really important because I can be a prepper and prep for everything and I can have like all the food in the world and I can have all this stuff and I can still find myself in a survival situation or I could still find myself in a situation where all my food is depleted, you know, or I don't know, something happened. And now I'm in a situation where I have to know skills that I don't have, you know, a lighter, I don't have my, you know, flint and steel or whatever, you know. How did you become a prepper though? Were you, I mean, did your, did your folks, were you, they preppers, were you raised that way? Did one day you wake up and, and the power wasn't on and you saw a light? What, what, what happened? Um, it was like, you know, in the old days when our parents like, you know, dehydrated and, you know, did all these things, canned, it wasn't really prepping. It was just kind of like, that's what they did, you mm -hmm. know? <laughs> so my mom, um, she always canned and dehydrated and she, um, you know, always had, you know, like every road trip we have, we have like our emergency car kit and all that kind of good stuff. So um, I've always just kind of known to do that. And then I found out that it was like a prepper thing way, way later in life though. Um, <laughs> and now I'm going to teach her. Your face is really, really rough right now. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, it, one day I was just like, uh, I didn't take it seriously. I didn't get into the whole prepper thing until much, much later in life. And then actually the power did go out one day and I was like, and my phone was almost dead. And I was like, I don't have any way to charge my phone. How do I do that? And so then it all kind of spiraled from there. Okay. Let's talk about YouTube. Cause the way I know you is from YouTube and then later Instagram, mm -hmm. but on YouTube, what influence has YouTube had on you and your prepping or the way you prep? I um, really love, the, overall, most of the time I love the prepper community uh, because they really have helped me be better and um, something about posting videos makes you really um, accountable for your actions and especially when you have people that are watching your videos, now you're really accountable. And because, critiquing your videos. Oh, yeah, exactly. Because now you post a video and you say you're going to do something or, you know, you say, you know, you do something and people are going to be on top of you like that. And people, like, if I don't come back with something or I don't do a video that I said I was going to do, oh, people are on, are like, on top of me going, well, what about this? I thought you were going to do this. Where's the update on that? Your, your 365 survival series that you did? Um, I mean, I actually, I, I, I was, I was like, girl, <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to do one every day, <laughs> but you, you did pretty good. And I tell you, um, that, that really, there's a hole left from you, from you stopping those. I mean, um, nobody's picked up anything like that. Yeah. And, um, and I know you can't do those, especially now cause you got this new, new little hobby going, I but, um, are um, looking back on that. Are you glad you did that? Were you uh, sorry at any point you were doing that? Uh, tell us about how that went. Um, yeah, I was sorry like every day. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's actually really hard to come up with stuff every day. You know, you think like, oh, well, you know, you, you're just doing videos of prepper things. You know, there's a million topics. Yes, there are. 
but it's just doing that stuff and you know you can't uh oh man um anyway so yeah i was sorry like pretty much every day because every day <laughs> i got home from work and i was like oh my god what am i gonna do today <laughs> i honestly really loved doing it i, I wouldn't wish that on you again <laughs> yeah. but i enjoyed them I, i've really thought about doing it again because the 365 actually really did push me to do things that i probably wouldn't do otherwise mm -hmm. you know and so it it was actually really helpful to me and um you know i've thought about doing it again but it probably won't be until she's a little older maybe tell me all the dirt about other youtubers uh, have you met any um in real person do you have uh, any that you've got restraining orders on they've got restraining <laughs> orders on you um are any bodies buried out here in this park what well, I can't disclose a lot of it, but what I can disclose is um, <clears throat> I've only met one other YouTuber, it's Girls Like Guns too, and we went shooting and uh, that was a lot of fun. And um, honestly, I haven't met anyone else. There are a bunch of people around. Yeah, I'm sorry. You want to talk? Okay. say. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are other YouTubers here in Texas, and Texas is so big, though, that the problem is, yeah. you know, like, yeah, I could probably maybe find one or two others around here, but the rest are in, like, El Paso, right. or Del Rio, and Dallas, and Houston, and all these places, so. Anybody that's never driven Texas doesn't understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me, let me, let me switch around then. Favorite YouTube channel, and it doesn't have to be prepping, that you get the most out of. Well, you obviously thank you here's the money <laughs> thank you let's yeah. go <laughs> <laughs> done deal uh, honestly um i can't i can't think of one single channel that i get the most out of I, really it's a combination of everybody and I, and i know that's a real cop out but i mean yeah. really like everybody has something different to bring to the table mm -hmm. and um you know that's why i'm sub subscribed to so many channels all right, so you're a prepper. Yeah. Give me your... What are you prepping for? In other words, what do you see possibly... Not, not so much a prediction, because I'm not asking you to know something that, that nobody else can know. But what, what do you see in the next five, the next ten years that you're prepping for? Um, possible. You know... <clears throat> I think the world is really really crazy right now and it's kind of been on the cusp of getting crazy she's gonna ruin your book <laughs> um it's kind of been on the cusp of getting uh, everybody says world war three i don't know about world war three you know um, but <laughs> um, gonna ruin don't book. worry about it <laughs> um i think that uh People are getting crazier and times are getting crazier and honestly I just want to be prepared for any of those things to come to fruition because mm -hmm. at any point anybody can snap and just be like, you know, okay, let's go ahead and nuke this place or, you know, let's go ahead and just, you know, do something totally out of unexpected and out of the norm and, um, you know, kind of bring people the unprepared. <laughs> um, to their knees a little bit and I don't want to get caught off guard so that's kind of here you live in San Antonio mm -hmm. and anybody that knows San Antonio this place is growing I think they say they add, yeah. add 180 people to the to the high, drivers to the highway every day yeah the people, place is growing like crazy yeah, it's it it, great economy but with that you can live out in the country this year yeah. and by next year you're in the suburbs do you feel, how do you feel about that? I mean, uh, are you looking at continually moving farther out? Are you just going to prep for living in the city? Um, how do you, how do you deal with that? Yeah, I don't like the city at all. Um, <clears throat> the situation we're in now is we're waiting a couple years. Um, we just bought a house and we're waiting a few years to move like we're gonna have another child and <clears throat> wait until she's she or he is a little older and then uh after that we want to get on property and um, i just really you know we don't like the city we think uh you know we don't like 
We like people. <laughs> we don't like big groups of people. <laughs> uh, so, you know, we think that it'll be better for everybody to, uh, better for us to be out in the country. That being said, you are in Texas, mm -hmm. you know, 20 miles from the Alamo. Do you feel Texas lives up to its reputation as being, if you're going to be an independent, individualist, kind of a, American and a prepper, mm. this is good place, bad place, overrated? There can be. There are some places in Texas for sure, but I, um, Texas has gotten crazy with their land prices. Like, unless you're in... West Texas, um, where it's just nothing but like rock land. Del Rio. Desert. Yeah, Del Rio. Sure, you can get like 500 acres for like $5 or something, you know, but nobody wants to be out there. <laughs> so, um, you know, Texas land prices are really expensive, really, really expensive. So it actually is making it, I think, a little harder for people. You know, like I can, I can find land elsewhere in other states for a lot, lot cheaper. Um, you know, Texas may not be the place that we want to buy land. We don't know yet. So, I think Alaska is the place to be. Now that is a proper challenge up there. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we were actually almost going to go to Alaska and live there and um, we're going to dry cabin and all this stuff and actually right before she was born. And I was just so excited because I was just like, yeah, we finally get to, you know, rough it because <laughs> that's my excitement like I love that stuff and um, it just didn't work out but uh, yeah I love it I would love that lifestyle to be honest I think that'd be great all right this has been the exclusive interview with Ember Rogue and her mom and <laughs> thanks for everybody for watching